the vaccine process now compared to just a month ago? Have you noticed a difference, say, in, in public frustration and confusion? Well, initially, when we were in phase 1A, the expectation from the public was that we are only vaccinating healthcare uh, members and staff and people who work within the healthcare industry. As the state transitioned into allowing those who are 65 years and older and more of the essential workers, I, I think what we heard from the public is our expectation is that we would be vaccinated, but what we have is a demand for supply that we haven't yet met in order to meet all of those needs. Now, Desert Oasis has 30,000 seniors in the Coachella Valley, and we've been getting between five or 600 to 1,100 dose allocations a week for each of our two locations. So it is taking some time to get through all of our members, and, and there has been a little bit of frustration trying to understand uh, how the county is allocating to their mass vaccination county sites versus more private providers like Desert Oasis Healthcare. You have clinics throughout the Coachella Valley, including in the East Valley. How have vaccination uh, clinics been there, and uh, what are efforts like? Well, we really were very keen on opening an Indio site, and that's because if you look at the COVID-19 infection rates, death rates, they're much higher for our population in the East Valley. So we really wanted to focus our efforts on that population. What we also found is as we're vaccinating 65 year and older seniors, those older seniors, those who are 75 years and older, have a lot of difficulty navigating some of the scheduling, online scheduling tools that the county is using for their vaccination efforts. So we've really tried to focus on phone calls, personalized touches for those members who are 75 years and older in the East Valley to help them connect with us and get those appointments scheduled because we recognize that if we don't do that for them, they're unlikely to be able to participate in vaccination. We really want to support that, that part of the population. What about teachers and what should they know about getting the vaccine? So we have been talking with the teachers in the different school districts around Coachella Valley, and we've put into place some initial planning for when we have sufficient supply to be able to vaccinate their staff. Uh, I think all of us can agree that we want to get our kids back to school, um, but the county's messaging to us has really been, for now, for the next week, try and stick to your 65 year and older. And as we get more information about how the transition in California will happen with Blue Shield signing a contract and entering into that distribution role, how that will affect our ability to do a mass vaccination for teachers and staff of the school districts. And finally, if someone is interested in getting the vaccine at one of your clinics, what do they need to know? Well, currently with our supply, we're focusing on our members, but I would encourage them to continue to reach out to the county. Um, they can also give us a call in the coming weeks and see if our process has changed for our ability to vaccinate non-members, to vaccinate community members. And that may be something that happens down the road as Blue Shield enters uh, the spectrum with distribution of vaccine. All right. Lindsay, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you.